You're gonna help me! Oh my god! It looks like we got ourselves a very sticky situation tonight. This absolute loser walked into the dollar store and started shooting babies in the air. God knows who else he shot it at. And you can't really be mad at this situation. Yes, it is assault. Yes, this woman got traumatized for the rest of her life. But the way this guy was running and the way he did it, I have so much questions. But before we get to the questions and talk about this whole situation, let's just go watch the whole video. Look, he f***ing nutted on my f***ing leg. You're gonna help, bitch. Oh my god. Now, I'm gonna show you the blur version of this video. I'm, you don't really need to see the uncensored version of it. You know what cum looks like. Now, before we get into the jokes, I want to say my prayers are with this woman. Absolutely no one should go through this. This is a very traumatizing experience. I hope she recovers from this. And at the same time, why? How? Wait, why? Was bro John Cena standing in the middle of the dollar store playing with this cucumber until he's, you know, about to explode and shoot some dead babies in the air? Or did he just like pull it out just one stroke and boom? Guinness record right there. Guinness World Records need to reach out to him and give him a plate. Shit was impressive. <laughs> I literally had to search up on Google man shoots sperm at a woman in a dollar store to find this article. So apparently this was our active shooter who was caught in the CCTV. And let's take a qu quick look at his shirt and see what it says. It's not going to lick itself. Honestly, I blame every single person in this video after seeing that shirt and not confronting him or calling the police immediately when someone is wearing that shirt. And the reason why no one is, was stopping him, or first of all, guy's crazy wearing a shirt, standing in the middle of the dollar store, playing with his kumba and just shooting babies at people. And no one wanted to get involved in this situation because they would have been the next victim of the shooting. And it is completely understandable. Now, according to the article, say Philadelphia police are asking for the public's help in identifying a man they say is wanted in connection with the assault at a dollar store. According to police, the man pictured above is being sought after they say an indecent assault of a female. Bro, just say he uh, came to the wrong donation center. A assault on a female victim occurred in a dollar store that located in, I don't know what, blah, blah, blah. And it all happened in Sunday, June 23. So it's not like very new, new. It actually happened two, three weeks ago. Store employees say that the man is known to frequent the Cinder Plaza as nearby underpass where they say he may have parked his vehicle. The suspect is described as a male black man, 25 to 30 years old, full beard, blah, blah, blah. This is the description. And here it says, if any information about the identity and whereabouts of this individual, please contact the special victims unit. Call the police if you know who this freak is. My friend, you do not need to call or look for him. His DNA is literally on the woman's leg. Yeah, sure, you want to wipe it off with something immediately because you're absolutely disgusted, but that tissue or a shirt or whatever that was wiped with, you can use that for DNA and absolutely find this fucking imbecile. Bro, I've been fucking laughing ever since I saw this video for 30 minutes straight. Bro, literally ejaculated and evacuated. What was he thinking? Like, people, he's on camera. He's going to be found. Did he, did he go like YOLO? Let, I, I always wanted to do this. This is my kink. Just walk up to a random person and go, oh, just like shoot some babies on them. Give them a sperm donation. You absolute donkey. You are on camera. Your whole face is all over the place. And the shirt you were wearing didn't make it any better. He's obviously sick in the head. He's obviously, the second they catch him, it's been three weeks. I'm surprised they haven't catch him yet. I don't know if they actually did the DNA test because there's no updates about his situation. He is 100% going to be arrested and he should get the electric chair for this. This is next level assault. We've seen some freaks in public, you know, like going behind a person on a... When, when they're about to dr order some food, just sticking it all the way in. Oopsies, my ding dong just touched your uh, cake. But this takes it absolutely to next level. And I'm sure the second they catch him, he's going to be like, oh yeah, I have this condition because apparently everyone has a mental condition nowadays and that's how people get away with it. I say give him the electric chair. Torture him first. Put waterboard him first before you... <laughs> gift of the electric chair bro i can't imagine if this happened to my daughter for example or my partner i'm going to jail absolutely going to jail there there is no recovery from this trauma no matter how many times this woman is going to go to therapy depict the 
<laughs> this situation is absolutely nuts. And for the people saying, it's not funny, this is assault. It's not like she got shot. It's just a little bit of trauma that it can be recovered, I believe, in the future, hopefully. You know, worse things could have happened in that store. But I still can't get over the fact, how did no one see him? There's no way bro nutted in a second. Okay, was he hiding somewhere just doing it until the second he's a, he was about to fucking explode? He just went to that woman, take it, take, take my dead babies it, on your legs. And 2024 is absolutely shocking. No matter what is happening to you, how did she have time? How did, doesn't make sense. Oh, you nodded on my leg. Let me take out my phone and record this real quick. Look, guys, this guy nodded on my leg. Leave your phone. Deal with the situation first. Yes, obviously she wanted to capture this person on camera, but there are CCTVs available in the place. You shouldn't be able to worry about it. And there's his DNA is literally on you. But at the same time, she was obviously under a lot of pressure. She didn't know what to do. So the first thing that came into her head was to take her phone out and start recording. There's no still update, like I said, in, in the, about the situation. I want to see what, what what is this guy's response to this whole thing. Why did he did it? Do it in the first place. 2024 isn't real, man. A lot of shit has been happening in the past month. This had to be the funniest thing I've watched on the internet. Again, she will get over it. It's not it's not a big deal. Don't make it. It's not funny. I will unsubscribe. It's funny. Shut up. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you're new here, you enjoy these daily yapping sessions. And if you want, if you want to be updated with people shooting dead babies in the air and doing other disgusting things, drop us up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. <laughs>